ever. But stupid situations, uh, stupid uh, choices get you in stupid situations, and you got results for them. But as far as you, Derek Jackson, Manosphere cats, that don't apply to y'all. I'm still talking to y'all. Y'all leave these black queens alone, man. Leave these women alone. If they don't want to deal with you, they don't want to mess with you, if they don't want to talk about you, if they don't want to be in your presence, stop making full 30 minute, hour long videos about how they this, they that, passport bros and all this. I'm not going Maybe they're just not into you. Yeah, just (laughs) period. Maybe they just stopped digging you. Yeah, maybe you was the dweeb in high school that they was just like, oh, no. And then maybe you grew up and you were still... Look at me now. Yeah, you still got that little dweebish or you still got that little nerdish uh, aura about you and they just like, mm, nah, we ain't, we ain't really feeling that. But like you said, you don't take one set, put them up against another set and say, that set better than you because you rejected me. Or this set is better than you because... You hurt my feeling. No, 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 no. What y'all need to do is say, hey, man, what what am I doing wrong? How can I sweet talk my way into the game? How can I not be (laughs) so rude? Or how can I not be so blunt? Yeah, not even not even blunt. How can I not be so unappealing to these to these females to where I can go in and say, hey, how you doing? How you Yo, doing? I've actually yeah. said that in an argument where a female has actually told me, just tell me what you want to say. And I've said, I can't say it now because I'm trying to figure out a nicer way to say it. Yeah. Like a, a, a decent way to, a decent yeah, way to say it. Because if I say it the way I want to say it, yeah. it's going to sound so disrespectful and off the wall. Oh. I got to find a way that you're not going to blow up. At, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. how females work. Yes. You got you to. What kind of guys? I can tell D. He acting like a bitch. Yeah. You acting like a broad. Or you acting like this, you acting like that. You can't stop being it's okay. Yeah. Not to be derogatory. Not to be but that's just the way guys talk. Yeah. Don't right? be so don't be so so booty. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We don't be talk. so butt hurt. Yeah, don't be so Everybody butthurt. uses that. Everybody uses that yeah. term. Everybody <laughs> uses butt hurt. Yeah, don't, like, we don't can be get away so, with that. So femaleish. But you also gotta you also gotta basically just just know, man. Some some women not into you. Some women don't care about what you're talking about. Some women don't care about what you're doing. Just know that that's, that's that is what it is. You can't hate them for it. And that manosphere and then Derek Jackson type cats who basically either Derek Jackson he always trying to downgrade black men. Or I'm only reason I say black men because his speech be he's like skinned dating. No, Derek Jackson. He's dark. dark. Yeah, he's dark skinned. I don't know, pay attention to sports. That's these parts. No, no, he ain't even sport. Derek Jackson is oh was like a relationship dude who always. Like a sentence. He basically, no, no, uh, he ain't even that. He made his claim to fame of basically saying he wasn't even talking about, it, but you could tell he's talking about black men. He was always talking about like how the man is always doing the girl so bad and how the women, yo, women, y'all, you guys are gold and this dude is doing oh, this. Simping. Super simping. Oh, he yeah. was super simping for the women. He ended up getting found out that he was cheating on his wife. Simp. And now he 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 trying to get back into the he trying to get back into the relationship counseling thing, but it's not working for him because people not forgetting that bro, you just sat here and dissed us for like three or four years. You got women coming out telling us we ain't nothing, we ain't this, we ain't that, we ain't the third. You telling them oh, we got to do this, that, and the fifth for you, but you sitting here cheating on your wife. You sitting here doing this exact same thing you telling us not to do, or you telling them women not to accept. You sitting here doing the same thing. Shout out to Steve Harvey. Yeah, yeah. Now I give I give props to Steve Harvey because Steve Harvey not out there cheating on his wife, but Steve Harvey. Is oh, 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 oh. Let me shut up then. Let me shut up. Steve Harvey, you you in the same boat then? You in the same boat, Steve? You out there doing stuff, but you telling people not now. Now, now, but back in the day, even if even if back in the day, <laughs> even if you're trying to tell us now, you're trying to tell us now. No, well, no, no. He putting books out about how to keep a happy wife, happy life, shit. But he's always like third or fourth. I don't even know. See, he's... see, no, see. I'm not listening to nobody like that. <laughs> I, I can't. I do not take like relationship that. advice from my single friends. No, <laughs> no. That's, yeah, that's like taking it. That's like taking relationship advice from somebody who's been single for ten years, and they telling you this is how you should treat a woman, homie. Why ain't you got one? If if you know how to treat a woman to the T perfectly, why don't you have one? 
Don't tell me because it's by choice. You a damn lie. See, every man who is heterosexual wants a good woman. We all know nowadays with the with the climate out here and the way things is going in social media, it's hard to basically find a genuine a genuine person because most of them are social media elites and they so stuck in social media that they're trying to follow the trends of social media. So you have to find a, a authentic and genuine person outside of social media. It's no more court nowadays. Like basically it's no more taking a girl on a date is so many things wrong with that in the no, new social media about that. world. Dude, if I'm somewhere back in our days, right? Mm-hmm. If we were to like, okay, let's say this. I wanna bring up some words that are foreign to y'all right now. Okay. Yes. Foreign as hell. Foreign. Foreign. There's no computer. No computer. There's no cell phone. None. There's something we got class. We used to go to this thing, a building called school. Ooh. And we used to have this thing. It was called paper. Paper. We write something called a note. Note. Folded in a weird way. Mm. And then it wasn't one to one. This was a six person transaction. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> you never <laughs> you never gave the girl that you liked the letter. It yourself. wasn't even that. It was even your whole boy snubbed at the yep. beginning of the six yep. Yep. It was a co-op. Yeah. Dark yep. operation. Yes, it was. The teacher couldn't see shit. Nope. Behind the pack, under the desk, yep. around it. Around Put it, it in a book. Yeah, Close the book. book. Slide the Slide book. The book. <laughs> Tell the girl, open the book. Hey. Hey. Open that. Be at the mall at 6 p.m. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you like me? If so, be at the mall at six. If not, I beat it with my hard. boys. I got three boys, break three girls. Bring three girls. And remember when? Remember when you could actually do that? You and nobody like, posted nothing. No, no, <laughs> nobody went on social media like, "Hey, man, this nigga want yeah. me to come to yep. the mall with him. Should I make him give me a no. Fendi, Gucci, no. Prada? No, it was lucky like to get some fries and hang out in the food court for thirty minutes. The food court was on a the, Friday. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the food court. Good. We're not talking now. We're talking like uh, man, back in man, high school. Yeah, back yeah. in high school, our yeah. days, man. Back in our days, when Friday you, night. Yeah. High, oh my goodness. Food court at the mall, man. Boy, <laughs> that was the date night. That was a date. And, and bro, you didn't even wear the clothes you wear at school to go to the food nope. court that Friday. You got that fresh. was the new new shit. You got fresh. <laughs> you did not get fresh to go to the food court, bro. You you was a fool. Yeah. You was a fool because the girl for one, I was always taught by women because I was raised by all women. <laughs> Women look at certain things when they see you. They look at your shoes, your yep. nails, and the way, um, and how you smell. You can't look at that, but they basically, they judge you on, they used to judge you on your shoes, your clothes, the way you smell, and some of them used to judge you on how you talk, but that was just the special ones who was into stuff like that. But if, and nails, I'm sorry, your nails. Yep. And there's two ways you always met up. You either met up at the cool homeboy's house where the mama was cool. Yep. Bitch, all y'all was right. Yep. Either she dropped you or all y'all met up and caught that bus to the blip. Caught that yep. bus. Caught that bus. But y'all knew you all about to do it. Yep. As soon as you get off that bus, like 637. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You hop off there, you walk in the mall. Mm-hmm. Everybody's there, boy. And Everybody cussing. Yep. People smoking outside. Yep. <laughs> yep. You're just like, yo, man, this is that life right here. This is, this is, ooh, okay. And then you had to go in and you still have to impress the girl. You still had to go up to the girl who you, who told you, yes, I like you too. Now now we finna go up to you. Now we gotta see what we can, we can do to impress you. If we couldn't impress you, we knew the next day at school because that girl would just ignore you. That you literally, you would walk up to her. Oh, and you like, know, hey. you did good because they would tell their friends. Yep. And then their friends would tell their friends. Yeah, their friends. And, and now they, when you walk through the hallway, they look at you and they giggle, yep. but then they don't talk to you. Yeah, they, they just they, all, they just all come, they <laughs> yeah. all come together. <laughs> look at it, look at it. And then you you be able to walk up to that girl like, yo, so what's up? And she'd be like, oh, what's up? You boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah, I guess. Boom. All right, so some of y'all youngins, y'all don't understand what the hell we talking about. No, because yeah. y'all just it drop lost. it in the DMs and... Mm-hmm. <coughs> Let me show you about something, young buck. Let me stand up for a minute. Yeah. Uh, young bucks. <laughs> young bucks. There was a time this. in life where we had to use our lower backs. All right? Now all you're doing is sitting in chairs typing like secretaries. That's it. Y'all ain't gonna need... That's it. Y'all ain't got to do nothing else, man. I'm I will I'll be somewhat jealous because, damn, man, only thing y'all got to do is literally slide in the DMs. Bro, we had to write letters. We had to go out places and do things. Only thing y'all had to do was just slide in. What's up, girl? When can I hit something? What? Wow. We ain't get a, cho- we ain't get a choice to do that. 
Y'all just, y'all just. Like, I had to oh. meet her daddy, man. Yeah, we <laughs> had to meet parents. We had to meet grandparents. We had to meet uncles, aunties, foster parents. We had to meet people. Three references. Yeah, like, I fucking they had to have my mom's phone number. They exactly. had to have my address. Man, <laughs> they they wanted a full list of stuff. They wanted a full list. Yo, where you work at? Or no, no, not even where you work at. How old are you? Yeah, how old are you? How you met my daughter? Yeah, how did you meet my daughter? Where did you meet my daughter? Yep. That was the most important place. What time you can bring her back? But yeah, what time she coming back? Yep. If she ain't back by this time, you will never see her again in your life. We promise you that. We'll come up to your school. Where y'all going? Yep. <laughs> what are you doing when you get there? Do your mama know? Or do where your you? father know? Or do your parents know where you're going to? Oh, they do? Y'all going to the movies? Okay. Do y'all what movie have, theater? Yeah, what movie theater? And you got enough money to, to pay, pay for, for that movie. Yep. You got Damn, dude, to you are a father, bro. Yeah. Shit, dude. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I got two daughters myself, so <laughs> questions like this would, would come up if if I was to ever, you know, my daughters was born, uh, one of them was born in 1999, the other one was born. End ages right now. Not end ages, but yeah. right now. Status, yeah. how old? Yeah, mine, uh, I have one daughter that's 23, and the other bro. one is 18, bro. about to be 19. So Damn. They were, yeah, they, I, I'm, I'm not that old, y'all. I just had kids when I was young. I was one of them, I was one of them guys who wrote letters. <laughs> I wrote letters and. There was no DMs at yeah, that time. Yeah, there was no DMs. I wrote no. letters and I impressed parents. So I got a chance to do what I did. And Three I, times. Yep. I had kids early. So me have me knowing that, I try to basically relate them to, to my children. And yo, listen, this is certain qualities that you want to look for. Know your worth, you, queen. Yeah, exactly. Know your worth. And know your worth and don't get Derek Jackson out here. And don't some of you young men don't slip into the manosphere, man. It's it's no problem to still be being cute. Write a letter to your girlfriend. Yeah. If you got a girl, just write a letter. Write a Yo, letter. Awesome. Do you like me? Dude. No, not even that. It's just cause no, I mean, not on the intro, because you can't do that on the intro. Exactly. That might be creepy to the new age girl. Yes. If you just get a letter, do you like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. But with the new age, and you got a solid relationship, she knows about the whole social mirror yep. sphere and the meta world and yep. all that. Mm-hmm. Write a letter and just pass it to her. Yeah, they pass it to her. And just smile and leave it alone. Yeah. Just, Let it, her read don't it and just smile. Yeah. Just just give it to her. Don't, don't text her. Don't do yeah. nothing. Just actually take a piece of paper. Right down, right, so yo, queen. Just thinking about you. Yeah, just no thinking reason. about you. What's up? I love you. Yeah. Woo 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 this. Woo 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 that. Done. And just pass it Talk to, to her. Talk to you later. Yep. Give it to her. Yo, yo t- tonight, later on tonight, I'm finna do this and that and the third to you. Slide it to her. Don't, mm-hmm. don't say that. Don't we take it to her. Oh, D.I. just... This is why D.I. got three daughters. Hey, yep. I'm going to do this to you. It's Slide it to her. I don't know if I got... Hold on. You, yeah, boy, you always got me in trouble. I ain't got no three. I'm sorry, baby. I ain't got... I only have two daughters. That I know of. I'm sorry. That I know of. But we need to review the clips. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy, I got scared. I was like, no, no, not three. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's why me and Theo got multiple kids because we, we just slipped them letters to count, a few. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we just slipped the letters to a few of them. You know what I'm saying? So, but we, we trying to say basically, Manosphere cast, separate yourself from the writing letters back in the day cast. Because one, not everybody hate women like that. And to me, the Manosphere cats, it seems like y'all don't really like women. And it's not, may not be fair for me to say, but it, it's also kind of in conjunction. There's also something called uh, an incel. Guys, like. That's what the Manosphere is. You, Manosphere you is not a of of Losing their virginity. But yep. they're, in life, they're successful. Though. Mm-hmm. They got nice cars. They're, and I've seen a couple of them. That, like, look them up. They're actually. I don't know why they got so hell bent on not having intimacy with people, you know, with the opposite sex, or maybe the I don't know, rejection. just having intimacy. They were scared and of the rejection, rejection. Yeah. but yet they weren't scared to get a nice car, exactly. a nice crib, yep. good clothes, great job. Yet you just can't walk up to a girl and just be like, "Hi, I'm this person." Yeah. Don't judge me on the things I have. Judge me on who I am. Yeah, judge me on who I am and, and what I can do. But to them, they got so mad because the girls didn't respect the fact of, oh, I drive the mm-hmm. Audi or I have this penthouse. Yeah. Or I'm making six figures. Yeah. They didn't care. That's what drove them. Yeah. And it's, that, that's crazy that, that that's what we talk about. Some of they're asking to kill. Like they're like, yeah. I'm going to do this and deprive myself of sex so I can just explode. Yeah, so I can just go crazy. I don't want no type of intimacy, but I want women to approach me and ask me 
for intimacy, but I want to be able to reject them so they can look at me in a certain way. And then, but just to know they got it. Yeah. And just to they, know that they can get it. Yeah. And then when they look at them, when you reject, get rejected, you expect them to keep trying to pursue you because for some strange reason, you think this is a woman. She's lesser than I am. Uh, she posts, she supposed to be doing it. No. If that's the truth, then why do they have such a hold on you? Hey, exactly. You get it? Why they live in your brain rent free? Why they got that mental yeah. hold on why you? Why they on there? Why they got all of that attached? You know, yeah, y'all already know. But this is how we gonna do this one, cause <laughs> y'all manosphere cats and y'all Derek Jackson cats, y'all are in the same, basically in the same field. We just gonna give y'all a little advice. Write a girl a letter. Know that you like her. Switch the game up. Yeah. Stop trying to come at them in this way. I guess you know, what we were talking about really was the fact of pretend like the computers got shut down now. Exactly. How are you going to talk to somebody? You had to go to them. There's no landlines no more. Let's be real. Anybody got a landline? Nope. You got a phone? Nope. Yeah, you got a phone? I got a cell phone. I got a cell phone. No landline. Computer shut off. Wi Fi. All cell phones shut off. Towers are blown up. Towers are done. done. Satellite's done. What y'all going to do? You got to get out here. Talk to people naturally. Well, I'm glad I still kept that concept about myself to where I can, my phone can be shut off. I could just go to people's houses, knock on door. You at home? Okay, you at home? Let's talk. You know what I'm saying? That's inter- human interaction. That's one of the best things on earth is human interaction. Being able to interact with each other. Being able to do things, go places, talk to people that you, you don't know and get to know them. Instead of just going over the internet, you can write anything on the internet. I can tell you, I'm six foot seven, 235 pounds, a basketball player. But if you meet me in real life, I'm nothing but like 180 pound, six foot regular dude who's got a job. Regular. Yeah, I'm just a six foot regular dude with a job. That's it. But I, on the internet, I can make myself right. seem like could incredible. You imagine in the demographic and the algorithm of the life that we live, right? All mm-hmm. those 30 and under. Let's say right now, if all computer, internet, cell phones were to shut down, how they getting to work, how they paying their bills, yep. how they doing things, how they talking to people. I think that's why we have all this zombie apocalypse and all this chaotic shit going on. Yeah. Because what's so basic about us, it doesn't even have to be all that. All you got to do is shut the cell phones, the computers, the TVs. Bro, we don't even watch TV no more. We watch fucking app. Look at this. Yeah, apps. Yeah, app, apps is the boat. You get what I'm saying? No? Like App streaming systems. We don't even really... Imagine if all of this shut down. What? What are we going to do? Talk yeah. to each other? Talk Can to you each imagine? other? Man. Motherfuckers will eat each other. That's Good how zombies Lord. started. <laughs> that, yeah, that's how zombie apocalypse started. That's how... You saw on the internet? Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how cats get to getting up out here and get the munching on each other. You know what I'm saying? Non-sexually. But, like me and Badass were saying, just take it... One step at a time. Manosphere cats, I understand y'all, but I don't understand y'all at the same time. Y'all may have a point to certain things, but y'all got to stop going around thinking that every woman got to be submissive to you. Every woman got to not not be a woman. I understand if, you, if you're trying to date somebody and they're promiscuous, just let it be promiscuous and go find somebody that's not. It's billions of women out here. You can find a few women that's not doing the social norm because this is different between the norm and the social norm there's a billion females on this planet yeah. over a billion you worried about yeah. one yeah. you worried about one. one one select group when you could just go out and and find one it's not that hard man it's a lot of single women out here who are yearning to find a good man yearning to find some dude that'll talk to him yearning to find some dude that take him out to lunch every every other day yearning they don't even want you to. They don't even want you to, to, to pound their guts in. They just want you to be around them, just enough, so they could just feel like they normal. Yeah, yeah. You know, I already said they pound your guts in. That's my part, y'all. I didn't mean to be that graphic with it, but seriously, you can find you can find women that don't just want you to just pound them. They, you know. <laughs> You can. You can find women that just don't want you to just <laughs> boom, 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 boom. They don't want that. Some women just want you to say, hey, be around me. That's enough for me to get turned on to where you can run right up in it a minute or two after you being in it. 
I don't know. Stop. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, know. Stop. I was just finna see, I was just finna keep going with it, but I had to stop because it was gonna get more graphic. But relinquish that what I just said. You don't have to you don't have to oh find a girl that want to deal with the, the new social norms. So my my oh, our man. little closing points when it comes to that, you don't need the social norm. You don't need the, the Derek Jackson. Oh.